Hey all, so I wasn't sure if I mentioned this before, but I'm subscribed to Quora, and Quora is a really useful tool if you want to find out about interesting subjects, and you can sign up for free, and then it sends you updates, and I get a wide variety of subjects. Some of it helps me with YouTube, and some of it's just random uh, little tidbits that are kind of cool. So today I got one about getting 4,000 watch hours and can you watch your own YouTube videos? So it really has a good answer on this. People probably think if you replay your videos and send it to all your friends and whatnot, that may help you. But the purpose of the 4,000 watch hours that YouTube has offered is like a challenge that they use to see if a content creator is qualified to join their YouTube partner program and build up their ecosystem. So the ecosystem is an IT term, which has to do with you know networking and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to gain 4,000 watch hours fast, this would not be the best choice uh, to worry about getting views rather than the content quality. So how do you get 4,000 watch hours pretty quickly? Part of it is the length of videos and are you drawing an audience and are people actually getting something answered or are they getting a benefit from it? So if you have uh, a Q&A kind of video where you're answering a question or it has information that isn't easily available, people will probably come to that. Um, my issue is people like my news more than anything that I really, really like to do. I do enjoy the news piece. I usually research something and then I post about it because I'm already researching it and it's already interesting to me. But I'd rather have people look at my game spoofs and memes and all that kind of stuff. So will I centralize marketing toward my memes and spoofs and all that kind of stuff? Yes, because I want people to know it's there. I don't think a lot of people do. And to me, it's actually pretty funny. But most of my stuff that people like is the news and uh, that's really what helps me grow. When it comes to your channel, what is it that you like to do and what is the quality control that you like to do to get those views? So people fall into this loop where they look at SEO or view sourcing help and they'll even pay for it. And that's kind of the wrong equation and formula because you're basically trying to get around producing quality content that people want to watch. Can my quality improve? Oh, absolutely. I'm on here basically fighting the clock because I work and I've got all these other responsibilities. And so half the time I have to sequester myself in a room just to get the audio done. So that being said, I could absolutely improve. I think a lot of people can out there as well. And I really hope I'm not pulling down the quality of YouTube in some ways, but there are also factors that can help the channel grow in the long run. So you really should just think of the quality, like I said, and just, there are tools. I've seen Google, once you get to be a partner, you will get tools. And I haven't really gotten into the depth of these, but a lot of these tools, it's just extra things that you have to look at on top of what you're already doing. So would you rather learn how to use the tools and get very proficient with those tools, or would you rather worry about your content? So I'm the sole owner of my channel, so I focus on content and I focus on ideas. and. I basically email myself ideas as it pops up, if I have a conversation, if I'm researching something, if I have a cool idea, I basically just email it to myself. I'm always with my phone and it's just easy to do. And then I go into more detailed uh, transactional development with my computer. But anyway, I wanted to share this. There really isn't a shortcut to get to the 4,000 watch hours. I know a lot of people that I've run into, they'll have like a thousand subs, which is what you need, but then they don't have the watch time. So that's kind of a hard part. I had a couple videos that I put up. The vast majority of my videos don't get me to watch time. It was just a few videos. And you know, I saw one the other day, it was a guy that set something on fire. He had one video. It was a pretty alarming video actually. I won't even say what it is, but he had 11.5 thousand subs. And I think he had the watch time alone because he had like over 3 million views. But he only put up one video, and so obviously uh, YouTube has other requirements to keep a channel alive so that they can play you know, the monetization game. And one of which is, I need to check if this is still the case, but you need to post every month. So this guy obviously posted once and didn't have any other content, and he was just killing my channel and views, and it was really interesting. But there really isn't a shortcut to this. You know, you wanna play the long game, um, sometimes it's easier to create content for certain people than it is to actually produce the really difficult content and the difficult content will get less views. But you know, at the end of the day, do you really like doing this? If you feel burned out by doing difficult content, don't do it as much. Um, really 
play the long game with some of your other videos. Like I've got a couple videos that are gonna take you forever to finish, especially if there's animation involved. So I have videos that I can put up rapidly in a day and I have other ones that I take a little bit longer to, to build. So you also don't wanna just dump stuff up just to get something up and I was doing that for a while. So you wanna make sure that you're not taking advantage of your audience. You don't want people to run away and unsub and all that kind of stuff. But So it's a happy medium. But anyway, the original point of this video was should you get yourself in a circuitous loop to get your 4,000 watch hours by inorganic means? Probably shouldn't. You should, you know, if you don't get a lot of views on something, play with your content, see if there's something that you would get more views on, research, stay within your lane, like what your channel's focused on. That's another thing YouTube wants you to focus on a certain uh, technical uh, or business area, if you will. So like mine is games and media, which there's a ton of those. Uh, there's people that do technical channels, there's people that do um, entertainment, there's people that do spoofs, um, there's memes, there's all kinds of stuff. So you want to choose your your basic lane and then you want to work within that lane and you don't want to just go to the gym and take videos of yourself at the gym if you're a gaming channel. Um, and if you do that, do it very seldom because you may get a lot of views, you may go viral, but it won't really necessarily help your channel overall. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, I uh, like to, you know, I was gonna read this article anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm also going out of town next week, so I wanted to build up a queue of videos. It's a little tactic, um, but thanks for listening. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. More to come, and you know, do yourself a favor. Check out the merch store. Got some good stuff up there. Um, and thanks for, you know, if you're a sub, thank you very much. Hit that notification bell, like I said, and you'll see, you'll be the first one to see my content.